Today's news. Today's news. CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. I'm Monica Rick. The Pentagon is addressing Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's absence. He was readmitted to the hospital on New Year's Day for complications following surgery for prostate cancer, but the White House didn't learn about it for days. CBS's Stacey Lynn says it's now making changes. The White House is now calling for a review of current procedures when a cabinet secretary falls ill. Pentagon Press Secretary Major General Pat Ryder. We want to make sure that if there is a transfer of authority, making sure that the appropriate senior leaders in the chain of command know. President Biden says he looks forward to Austin's recovery and return. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is in Israel for diplomacy talks with leaders as the U.S. pushes for it to scale back attacks in Gaza. We want this war to end as soon as possible. There's been far too much loss of life, far too much suffering. Uh, but it's vital that Israel achieve its very legitimate objectives of ensuring that October 7th can never happen again. Employees with PC Television in Ecuador had to beg for their lives today when armed men broke into their studio claiming to have bombs. The country's been rocked by a series of attacks, including explosions and the abduction of several police officers following the prison escape of a powerful gang leader. Strong storms have now become deadly down south. At least one person died and two others were critically injured when a tornado touched down in North Carolina. No, it's crippling parts of the Midwest. Federal prosecutors argue former President Trump is not above the law and should not be immune to criminal prosecution for trying to overturn the 2020 election. Attorney James Pierce. At a minimum, this case in which the defendant is alleged to have conspired to overturn the results of a presidential election is not the place to recognize some novel form of criminal immunity. Trump warns there will be bedlam if this case moves forward. Senator Bob Menendez is defending himself again against another indictment. The New Jersey Democratic Senator who stepped down as chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee says he's innocent and he intends to prove it. I have received nothing, absolutely nothing, from the government of Qatar or on behalf of the government of Qatar. And Menendez called it outrageous allegations that he conspired to act as a foreign agent for Egypt. Wendy Kenyon, CBS News, Washington. And NASA has officially delayed any manned moon missions now till at least 2026 over safety and technical issues. When it happens, though, it'll be the first moon landing in more than 50 years. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glasses have full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 54 degrees on the ultimate posh.